What's up everyone, China Cycling here. I'm here today in a freezing cold Shanghai. I am freezing my nuts off. Uh, but in there is packed with bike tech that we're gonna go check out. The theme of today's video is super light. We've got super light inner tubes, we've got super light wheels, and we've got super light cassettes. Let's go check it out. Over here on the Ride Now stand, obviously Ride Now came out with their pink TPU tubes a year or two ago, brought the price of TPU tube tubes down. That's the 36 gram one. Then they came out with a super light version, just 24 grams. Pretty crazy light for a TPU tube. But now they've got this one, the 19 gram tube. Uh, I've actually got some of these back at base. I've been testing them, absolutely no problem. They're for disc only. Obviously you worry that it's super thin. The temperature might get up on rim brake. But if you're running disc brake, absolutely no worries. Just 19 grams for a tube, absolutely crazy. Uh, super interesting package on this. So this one, they're giving it away for free as like a sample. Uh, I'm not sure where they got the inspiration for the packaging. Yeah, this is the 24 gram pack. Uh, we have these in stock over on pandapodium.cc. We don't have this one in stock, unfortunately, but if you want your 19 gram ones, your 24 gram ones, or your 36 gram ones, head over to pandapodium.cc in stock and shipping as soon as we get back to Shaman. So right now I actually do all sorts of products. This is one of the very earliest products. It's a wheel balancing machine. So obviously for the end user, maybe not very useful, but for a bike shop or whatever, you get one of these in, you can balance your wheels down to like less than a gram or something crazy. So this was their first product back in the day. It does quite well in China. I'm not seeing it overseas yet. I don't know if anyone's stocking it, but yeah, right now they make lots of interesting products. Also, one of Ride Now's products, this is called their Bike Guard. This is a super interesting bike box. It's got wheels on the bottom, helps you take your bike around. But the good thing about this, all you need to do is take the wheels off. You don't need to take your handlebar off, nothing mess like that. Obviously with disc brake bikes, taking your handlebars off is a pain in the ass. So this is really cool. But the best thing about it, when you get to where you're going, you can fold this up and it fits inside this bag. So, you know, if you get your bike done, you can put this on and ride your bike to the hotel or whatever. The box itself, everything together weighs just 7.3 kilos. So 7.3 kilo box plus a 10 kilo bike and you're still gonna be under a 20 kilogram weight limit or whatever. Uh, it looks super thick, so it's gonna protect your bike. Uh, yeah, I'm interested to get one of these as well and try it, but yeah, right now they're just keeping pumping out these super interesting products. Uh, yeah, this bike guard, looking forward to trying it out. Another cool thing about it, so these wheels that you saw me pushing around on before, you can actually take these wheels off and then these wheels themselves, or this wheel stand, turns into a bike stand and can just park your bike in it. Uh, I'll try throwing a photo when I'm editing if I remember, but yeah, just super clever design. You know, when it's on the road, it's a box. When you get to your hotel or whatever, it's a nice place to keep your bike and it all goes in that bag, super compact, super easy to carry around. So yeah, right now they're just blowing it away with these products these days. So this is what's new this year. They've got this Super Evo road bike. And so I just heard in a medium size, this frame is just like 680 grams. That's crazy levels of lightness, obviously. But if you look at the head tube, We've got quite a big head tube there. So, you know, it's not super aggressive geometry. It's more relaxed endurance geometry. So if you're after a super light road bike, but you don't want to be a super aggressive race bike, I think this is a good option. I see on the build itself, they've also got their super light bars, their super light saddle. If I remember correctly, this saddle is like 65 grams or something crazy. Uh, it looks like we've got clearance for like 38 or 40 mil tires here. Got a whole bunch of clearance. Uh, so if you want a super light bike, it's not super race bike. I think this is a great option. Uh, this is new for Pardus. So now they're working on more like commuter level bikes and stuff. Uh, really interesting to see this folding bike. It's called the Intelligent. Now I am not intelligent. So let's see if I can unfold this bike. Let's guess it's just power. No, we need power. Uh, okay, yeah, so that's the handlebar done. Let's try and get this bit done. Trying to break it. Let's bring it around to here. Let's let the professionals handle it. Okay. So yeah, as I said, the bike is intelligent. I am not intelligent, but yeah, a pretty cool design. And I think if any brand wants to go more mainstream, they have to not just do race bikes, but also do commuter bikes and stuff. So. Super interesting to see Pardis 
uh, stretching out to more everyday bikes, commuter bikes and stuff. This is also pretty light. It's less than 10 kilos, which is obviously lighter than a Brompton or whatever. Uh, carbon frame, carbon fork. Uh, looks like these bits are aluminium, but yeah, if you're after a really lightweight foldable bike, uh, I think this is a good option. And so here we are on the auto cycle stand. This is one of their new products called the six wheel. Obviously it's a cassette, uh, but it's super, super light. So these guys here, we'll put it onto the side for a second. These guys here, it's 11.30 and 11.33. The 11.30 is just 199 grams for this cassette. So 199 grams for the 11 to 30. This one, the slightly bigger 11 to 33, is 209 grams. So these are all 12 speed cassettes, but they're compatible with either SRAM or Shimano or Companio spacing. But the free hub body, you have to use a Shimano free hub body. But so obviously super light. There's 11 different colors. So you've got these silver, black, the rainbow kind of anodized effect, gold. This one is obviously my favorite with a bit of pink in there. This guy here is a bit special. That's one that they're currently working on. It's not finished yet. This is the titanium version, just 150 grams for this cassette. Uh, I don't have a scale with me to weigh these, but I can tell you this thing in my hand feels like it's made out of paper. 150 grams is crazy. These ones here, in China, they retail for about 2,000 kwai, which is not cheap, about 390 US dollars. So yeah, don't think that everything in China is super cheap crap stuff. This quality stuff is also starting to come out. $390 for a cassette, but just 199 grams or 209 grams for the big one. Obviously, quality stuff. Uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing uh, if they start selling them overseas. Okay, this one is actually fully titanium. The bigger and the smaller rings are all titanium. 12 speed cassette, can you guess the weight? Can you guess the weight? 120 grams, that is crazy. This one here, a bit more reasonable. The larger cogs are titanium, the smaller cogs are steel, but still 161 grams. It's crazy light for a 12 speed cassette with a, this is a 30 I think, and this is a 28. I uh, just spotted this on the six wheel stand. This is a very, very, very tidy looking TCR that has had lots of small attention to detail paid for it. So let's start from the top. Well, first of all, the weight of this thing just weighed it six kilograms on the nose with a DI2 and a just standard uh, inner tubes, you know, nothing crazy light. There's still weight to be chopped off of this and already 6.0 kilograms. But let's have a quick walk through the bike. So when you look at this bike, you'll notice super clean appearance, no cable sticking out. And that's because this has been changed to be fully internal. So what we have here is that little fully internal conversion kit, which can, consists of two parts. You've got this sleeve here. And so this sleeve, you put it inside your steerer tube, uh, bond it in there with adhesive, and then uh, make a hole in the carbon steerer tube and go through this at the same time. So this is obviously reinforcing your steerer tube, uh, as well as acting as the expander plug to put your preload on your headset bearings. So again, super light stuff, but well thought out, so you can convert your fork into a fully internal fork. Now, as you can see from the front, that means all your cables can go internal and have a super clean appearance. Uh, also further back, so we've got the Burke Composite Saddle. Everyone knows it's a super light saddle, but attached to the saddle is the thing I just showed you, their own uh, six wheel uh, ISP seat post. So the advantage of this ISP seat post is twofold. Number one, it supports adding small spaces. So if you cut your ISP too short, you can add some saddle height back on. But number two, there's also an expander plug that goes inside and just secures it down a lot more than the standard ISP thing. Obviously the standard ISP solution is that it goes on over the carbon. This, you have like an expander plug inside, which will make up for any bad tolerances with the thickness of the paint job, etc. Uh, going down the bike, also a custom part is their six wheel, uh, what's it called, let me think, is their six wheel chain ring on here. So at the moment only available in one by, but me personally, I love one by two. And then if we move further back here, we've got their own six wheel custom cassette, which just showed you that super light component. You can see how this is getting down to six kilograms now. Wheels, we've got the brand new Mavic uh, Cosmic Ultimate CCUs. I think that these are like 1,250 grams for a pair or something ridiculous. Uh, brakes, we've got some a pair of Hope X2 calipers. Again, if you know, you know. Yeah, so just overall a super, super clean build on this TCR, bringing it in at six kilograms. Uh, I think our good friend Peak Talk will be a fan of this one. And yeah, 
check out six wheel and all our components. We're just talking to the boss. It looks like we're gonna have the six wheel cassettes in stock over on the website soon at pandapodium.cc. Also be looking to sell these, their fully internal conversion kit. So yeah, head on over to pandapodium.cc and see what it is. Okay, so this is it before anodizing or whatever. This is the raw setup they have. So as you can see, you've got a two centimeter spacer, I think, and then a five mil spacer, a two mil spacer, and a one mil spacer. So if you cut your seat post too short, or if you just want more flexibility, check out this component. Super lightweight, just 81 grams. Because of this setup, you can use it with the seven millimeter or nine millimeter saddle rails, no problem whatsoever. So today's footage is presented by pandapodium.cc. If you don't know what pandapodium.cc is, it's my new website. Basically the idea is, I go around here, I find all the best products from China, put them on a website and sell them to you guys. So what's the advantage of that? You get good service from me. Obviously my English is pretty good. Uh, we only sell quality stuff. Now quality stuff doesn't mean expensive stuff. We're gonna have a full range of stuff, more affordable and more expensive, but there's not gonna be any crap. We want to sell stuff that we believe in ourselves. If we wouldn't write it ourselves, we're not gonna sell it. That's basically the ethos behind it. So the things you've seen today, we're gonna have a bunch of those products on the website. It's not all ready yet. The website is up and running, but there's a whole bunch of products yet to go on. Uh, if you don't wanna miss those products when they do go on, then if you go to the website and subscribe to the newsletter or follow us on Instagram, you won't miss those products when they go up. Anyway, let's get back to the show. I was walking past here and the smell of coffee is what grabbed me in. This guy has a dope set up in the back of his van here. So he's got his coffee machine going on. He's got all his tools for fixing bikes and stuff. Yeah, hashtag van life. This guy's got it going on in here. Uh -huh, van life, baby. Very cool, very cool. Around the back of his van. On the top, he's got his tent. Looks like he's got his soft tail there. Yeah, this guy's got van life going down. Trusty Ivoco van. Ken Block, RIP. People were asking for more commuter bikes, so here you go. This is a commuter bike from a brand called ZGL. Uh, you got space for all your luggage on the back. Uh, big, nice, wide tires to absorb all the bumps in the road. A nice, comfortable position, so you know when you're traveling to your office, um, you don't get a bad back or anything. Yeah, and this is the brand new commuter bike from ZGL. Uh, all the best things at the Shanghai Bike Show you find around the back of an alley. So this one here, Kraft Racing Wheels. These wheels are crazy, crazy light. So this pair here, the front wheel is 50, the rear wheel is 60, just 1,280 grams. Super light. Uh, They're laced with carbon spokes to their own hubs. Feels like a DT Swiss ratchet system in there. Super, super light. As I said, 1,208 grams. Uh, there's a slightly narrower version with a 45 and a 50. I think it's 1,230 grams. Uh, choice of Shimano or XDR free hub bodies. Super, super light. Uh, I've actually been riding these on my gravel bike for a couple of weeks because it's my only disc brake bike that I have. And yeah, these things are so light. They get up to speed super fast and just, yeah, makes the whole bike a lot lighter. So again, Kraft are maybe a brand you've not heard of before, especially in the West. They're new and emerging, but they've been doing this for a while, making wheels for other people. And yeah, also in stock now on pandapodium.cc. So if you want a pair of the lightest golden spoke wheels around, get yourself a pair of Kraft racing wheels. So if you want to know the relationships between different brands, you have to think outside the box a bit. Uh, in the Bros video, people were asking about how this suddenly came out of nowhere. Well, also on the Bros stand, so they have the wheels there. But if we go around the corner on the same stand, you'll find... Oh, look, it's Cube. Huh. Yeah, you can read into that what you want, people. So again, here we have a Bros. Here we have a Cube. You guys make of that what you want. Okay, so that's about a wrap for today. Like I say, thanks to pandapodium.cc for supporting this video. Go check out pandapodium.cc, see if there's any of these stuff that you've seen today in stock over there. For example, the Kraft wheels, they're in stock on the website now. And uh, the cassettes and stuff you've seen today, lots of those are going there soon. So again, pandapodium.cc. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up, please. And yeah, China Cycling out.